So I've been making a bunch of plant-based cheeses lately, and it's, it's something I've kind of been on a little bit of a kick of. I've really been enjoying trying to see if I can come up with the best plant-based cheese around. Now recently I made a plant-based fresh mozzarella that was so good. And that mozzarella worked really well in fresh scenarios, like a caprese salad. And I also did try to melt it. It melted pretty nice, but it didn't really have any stretch. It just melted down. It would have worked really well on a pizza. Now the last video I just did where I did a red bean mochi, I got a few comments from people saying I should try mochi cheese. Now it's something I really haven't considered or looked up because at first I thought it'd be really weird, but I really kind of came around to the idea and I started doing a little bit of research. I almost immediately ran across the recipe from East Meats Kitchen. Now she has an incredible YouTube channel with tons of really awesome recipes, so make sure you check out East Meats Kitchen right after this video. I'm gonna be pretty much using her recipe as a base, as the theory to how this is gonna work. So let's get going, let's make this stretchy cheese. This is gonna be good, good, real good. Okay, while I do wanna make this recipe really easy, there are gonna be some ingredients that you might not have on hand and that you could probably substitute or leave out. But the things that you absolutely do need for this recipe is some sweet rice flour, not regular rice flour. It has to be sweet rice flour or glutinous rice flour. You're also gonna need tapioca starch. These two are key to making the texture of this super, super stretchable cheese. So first off, let's start with about a half of a cup of the sweet rice flour. We're gonna do one cup of tapioca starch, one teaspoon agar agar. I'm gonna make the yellow cheese today, so I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of nutritional yeast, teaspoon mushroom seasoning, half teaspoon salt, and a half teaspoon of lactic acid. Let's just give this a quick whisk together. So now at this point, you should be able to just store this dry mixture and anytime you wanna make cheese, you would just add your liquid, your liquid component to it. So this is about a one-to-one -one mixture. We're not gonna do one-to-one -one weight, but one, so one cup of dry to one cup liquid. Now you could use water, you could use a plant-based milk. Today I'm gonna use like a cashew milk to make this. So we're gonna use about one cup of the dry with one cup of cashew milk to kind of finish this off. But for now, I wanna tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. So I've never actually had a drink like House before. House is an aperitif, which the aperitifs have been popular in Europe for centuries, but they're just now starting to become popular here in the US. They're made naturally with ingredients that I know, and House is made by a husband and wife team on their farm in Sonoma County, California. And I've really enjoyed drinking it because I know that I can have a few of them. Because of their lower alcohol content, you don't really have to worry about hangovers as much. Now House sent me two bottles. Their Bitter Clove, which really has the whiskey lover in mind, and their Citrus Flower. The Citrus Flower is actually made with crisp lemon and elderflower. Now after filming all day long, I definitely enjoy having a drink with Monica, and I'll tell you their simple ordering process and having house delivered right to your door has really made this incredibly easy. That's delicious. So Monica's just drinking the bitter clove with just a touch of ginger soda, and I'm drinking this citrus flower just straight on the rocks with ice. I mean, these aperitifs are really, really good. Mm -hmm. So getting the first 100 people to purchase the House Essential Kit from my link below and using code SAUSTASH will get $10 off and free delivery. Thanks House for sponsoring today's video. We are really loving these House aperitifs. Cheers, baby. Cheers. So for today's cheese, I'm just gonna use a cashew milk. You can use whatever plant-based milk you like to do this. So let's start with one cup of our mixture here. So to one cup of the dry mixture, we're gonna do about two tablespoons of a fat. That's any fat that you like. Now, if you use like a really fat, kind of like a pea, uh, pea milk, like a pea protein milk, which is higher in fat than cashew milk, you probably could only use, get away with just one, one tablespoon of fat. Um, the fat is entirely up to you, however you want the cheese to come out. Now to the one cup powdered, we're gonna add one cup of the cashew milk. I think this is gonna be really good. Now before I turn on the heat, I'm just gonna give this a quick whisk, kinda mix all these ingredients together. <laughs> I am excited about this. Now the nice thing about this mixture is you can just over mix this. Make sure it is really mixed really well. Don't think about it like a pancake. We wanna get rid of any of the powdery components that you see. Now I'm gonna have a wood spoon ready, but we're gonna start this off with the whisk, we're gonna turn on a very low heat. You don't wanna start too high with this. Very low heat. And then this should kind of quickly turn into a nice cheese. Now, if you're concerned about the color, you can add a little bit of paprika or turmeric to see if you, um, 
to kind of get it a little bit more golden. You know, I actually might do that really quick. I'm gonna just add a touch of the turmeric just to kind of help that yellow color out. Quickly whisk in, give us that look that we want, along with, and once this starts kind of moving, once this starts thickening up, it's gonna thicken quick. And I'm constantly keeping that whisk turning across the bottom and the center, and it is kind of starting to thicken up. We are starting to get a little bit of a cheese going. I'm gonna switch over to the spoon. I mean, just look at this stretch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat. I have a separate little container here. Wipe down the inside of this container. Now I'm gonna use coconut oil because it's gonna solidify up, allow it to release right from the container here. Should give us a nice smooth look as well. Now you can make as much or as little as this as you like, but like I said, I have my powder here that I can use later on. I have this cheese blend here that I can use. Uh, I can use it right now. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge to allow it to firm up. And then we're gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich with this and see how well it comes out. Let's let this sit for about 30 minutes, 40, well, let's let it sit for a little bit longer. And uh, yeah, we'll come back and make a sandwich. Okay, I'm getting a little impatient. I want a grilled cheese sandwich. I know it's not completely firmed up yet, but we're just gonna make it happen. So I'm just going to use some Earth Balance vegan butter. I'm gonna butter up both sides of the bread, just like you would with any grilled cheese. So like I said, the cheese is not completely firm yet. It is still pretty stretchy, which is gonna kinda help us, you know, in our <laughs> consistency that we're looking for. Now the plan was to take this out and kind of like do just like a slice of cheese, but what I'm gonna have to do is just kind of place like strips, like thick strips, almost like it would be like two layers. I'm just cutting off really small strips of it here. If I would have been just a little bit more patient with this, then we would have had just the firm block of cheese to build a slice off of, but I wasn't. <laughs> That's my own fault. I'm gonna heat up my skillet on like a low, medium, low heat. We're gonna let this heat up, then we're gonna throw the sandwich on. I'm excited to see how this comes out. Oh, this is gonna be good. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at that cheesiness. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> Oh, this is gonna satisfy. I can't get over how good this is. This is a grilled cheese sandwich. Probably one of the best grilled cheese sandwiches I've had in a while. The flavor is there, the texture is there. Combining all the techniques that we've done in the past along with the sweet grain rice, the sweet rice, the mochi rice, I really made an insane grilled cheese sandwich. I mean, this is like a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah, I was gonna ask if this was grilled cheese. This reminds me of grilled cheese. It's the reg, it's, the, it's literally the same thing. Also, make sure you check out House. Go to the link in the description below because the first 100 of you are gonna get $10 off and free shipping if you use code SAUSTASH. Thanks everybody.